Hi guys! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So if you are new here, I'm Suzy and I'm creating contents about work from home and mindset. So in this video, I'm going to share with you what are the platforms and websites na pwede kayong mag-apply ng mga online jobs. <laughs> So yung mangyayari, ipapakita ko yung screen ko so that you can follow what I'm saying. So for the first one that I'm going to share with you is of course, ang pinaka malaki na platform niyon sa online industry is Upwork. Okay, so yung nakikita niyo sa screen ngayon, ito yung Upwork platform. So this is the largest platform for all online freelancers. This is where you can apply online jobs. The same then, kung mag apply kayo sa real jobs or corporate jobs, you have to go to a company na pwede niyo pag-applyan. Dadalhin niyo yung printed CV and letter niyo. So dito, kailangan kang mag-sign up. So we'll just click here, sign up this button here at the top and dito nyo ilalagay yung name and last name nyo and email address magbibigay yan sila ng link makakuha kayo ng notification nila fill up niyo lang siya sa mga services sa mga skills nyo na pwede nyo i-offer kay client pero kung hindi nyo pa alam yung mga services na yon or anong yung mga skills na pwede nyo i-offer kay clients, you can check out my previous video. Lalagay ko yung link sa baba para maklik nyo or ma-watch nyo after nyo panood din ang video na to. Sa online jobs, you have to sign up dito. I will not go through na kasi may account na ako and bawal sa Upwork na doble yung account. So, maglilagin na lang ako para makita nyo yung ano yung nasa loob once meron na kayong account. Actually, magno-notify yan sila sa inyo kung kung activated na yung account nyo. So, ito yung mga services na available or mga skills na available sa Upwork. Here, pwede siyang admin support, design creatives, pwede writing, accounting, sales and marketing. For example, dito tayo sa admin support. Since, if you are still a beginner, pwede kayong Sa admin support muna, pwede data entry, transcription, online research, order processing, project management, and virtual assistance. Nandyan lang. Depende sa inyo kung ano yung gusto nyo or kung ano yung kaya nyo. Um, if you're going to click virtual assistance, yung mga complex ba na project ang kaya mong i-handle or, or mga long-term projects or short-term, yung mga ganun. Okay, if ever meron na kayong online account and then activated na yung account nyo, pwede na kayong makapag-apply online. So, ito yung makikita nyo sa loob ng Upwork. Dito kayo sa feed, makakakita ng mga jobs na pwede nyo applyan. So, before, nakaka-apply ng hindi nagbabayad. Pero ngayon, may connects na na tinatawag. You can see, I have 92 available connects. Magbabayad kayo ng 15 cents every connects or every apply mo, nagbabayad ka sa Upwork. Kasi for them, parang ang dami nang nag apply ng mga freelancers na hindi intentional yung pag apply nila ng jobs. So, tuturuan ko kayo kung paano mag-apply. Siguro sa feed nyo, wala masyadong job opportunities na nakalagay kasi wala pa kayong category sa feed nyo. So, this one, ito yung mga nilagay ko kasi ito yung mga services that we are offering sa team ko. And then, pwede nyo yan siyang malagyan ng categories. Just click the pencil icon. And then, pwede nyo siyang i-click if may e-commerce tayo. Pero, I'll just uh, do that to make something changes para makita nyo kung paano siya gawin. Ganyan lang. And then, here, kung meron ka makita na alam mo, click or check the boxes kung katingin nyo na okay kayo nyan. Mga ganun. Pero hindi naman, just click, double click lang para mawala yung check na nalagay mo. Writing, so, uh, we are focusing, my team is focusing on admin support and website and sales and marketing. So, yan siya. Meron din customer service, technical support, yung mga ganun. Kadalasan na nagka-customer service yung may mga experience sa, ano, sa call center. So, after mo siya ma-check lahat, isave mo lang siya. And then, automatically, magkakaroon na ng mga laman yung feed nyo. So, this is my recent researcher's 
social media management, file creation, at yung mga recent researches ko. And then dito din, makikita mo yung available connects mo. Uh, again, you are going to pay for your connects. Every apply may bayad. Sa pagkakalam ko lang, kung in-invite ka ng client to apply sa job vacancy niya or siya sa job opportunity niya, wala siyang bayad kung hindi ka matanggap. As long as in-invite ka niya for interview. Pero kung ikaw mismo talaga yung nag-apply, may bayad na siya. Makikita mo yung um, three invitations for interview to ask candidates. Ito yun siya makikita. I would also like you to know kung may nakikita kayo dito, early and then my fixed rate then fixed price. Early meaning babayaran kayo per hour. For example, yung nilagay mo doon na bidding is $8 per hour. So every hour na nag-work ka, babayaran ka nila ng $8 per hour. Yung fixed price naman, so for example, my my fixed budget sila. This one is $1,000. For example, kahit one week mo lang ginawa yung marketing process nila or marketing strategy nila, kung email marketing man or kung social media management man or kung Google marketing man yung gagawin mo sa kanila, kahit gaano siya kaikli ng panahon mo trina baho, pag natapos mo siya, automatically babayaran ka nila ng $1,000. Ito rin, ganun din siya. Small ads explaining the products. Okay, so kahit 5 minutes mo siyang ginawa or 1 week mo siyang ginawa, as long as natapos mo yung project, babayaran ka nila sa budget na sinabi nila or sa kung anong agreement na nilagay niyo doon or napagkasunduan niyo. And then, sometimes may uh, agreement kayo na 10 hours muna per week or 20 hours per week or full-time, yung mga ganun. So, yan yung kaibahan ng early and fixed rate. Kung mag early ka din, may tracker kang gagamitin. download mo siya for free dito. Track the time with the desktop. You can download it for free. Ayun, dito mo siya makikita. Download or beta version. OS ito. Let's see yung mga mga data entry, yung pang beginners talaga. My lead generation, my e-commerce management, my admin assistant. Tong hinahanap sila, virtual assistant ito sa RD. Okay. Let's try to check this fixed rate. Kung mag apply kayo, this is just my personal tip. Kung mag apply kayo, kung pwede yung mga kababago lang na post. Kasi most likely, wala pa silang na-hire niyan. Compared nung 5 days ago na, 6 days ago na, probably may na-hire na yan sila. Pero hindi, nakalimutan lang nilang i-close yung job post nila. Miss okay to, na-post nila recently. Diyan kayo mag apply Gusto niyan ng data entry operator, may 100 images per day yung i-upload mo daily. So, okay ka ba with the budget of $5 only? It's up to you kung okay ka. And then, if you are going to submit a proposal, just click that one. And then, since I have an agent so also, that's why I have this option here. Pero kung kayo, kung bago pa kayo and hindi kayo under na agency, so wala na tong option dyan. You can change the proposed amount. Pwede ang gustuhin mo talaga na you'll receive talaga na $5. So, ito yung babayaran ng client. Kasi may Upwork fee. Dito nagkakapera ang Upwork. So, yan. And then, kailan mo siya kaya matapos? Less than a week, yung mga ganun. It depends sa project na inapplyan mo ha. For the cover letter, I will make another video on how to make an effective cover letter. I will also gonna tackle what are the things to consider when applying jobs to get the project. Upload mo lang yung CV mo kung meron ka. One page CV na andun na lahat ng mga experience mo, skills mo, link ng portfolio mo, and so on. That's that for the fixed rate. Punta man tayo dito sa early. So, we need virtual assistants. So, marami yung gusto nila, virtual assistants kasi. Okay, we are looking. Dapat basahin nyo talaga at lahat. This is full-time also. This is cool. And maroon siyang pinapasagutan. Ito yung mga skills and expertise na gusto niya. And if you are comfortable with it, then you can apply this to this um, job post. And then, we will just click submit proposal if gusto mo yung job post. Again ha, make sure if you are going to apply for a job, make sure na gusto niyo talaga yung job at alam, alam mo talaga yung job kasi may bayad na ngayon. So, huwag niyo sayangin yung connects niyo. And then, yeah. And then, 
this one you can put um nasa range daw ng 12 dollars to 15 dollars so you can maybe put 12 para mas malaki yung chance na ma-hire ka and pero if you think na yung yung job description niya is more than 12 dollars then you can also put 15 or 20 or ano yung rate na gusto mo make a personalized cover letter para hindi masayang yung panax mo and then also answer this one and upload your cv and then just submit proposal so yun siya yung pag-a-apply marami din akong mga questions about the upwork kailan daw dadating yung sahod so if nag-work ka from monday september 2 to september 6 Yung work mo, iti-check yan by September 9. Ang mag-check niyan yung Upwork at saka yung client mo. And if it's all good, nakita nila na may progress ka sa work mo, dadating yung sahod mo Wednesday. So every Wednesday, magre-reflect yung sahod mo sa Upwork profile mo. And then, from there, pwede mo na siyang withdraw. So weekly yung sahod natin. And then, how can you withdraw it? You can withdraw it uh, from Upwork to PayPal. Upwork to Pioneer, Upwork to TransferWise, Upwork to Gcash, or pwede din direct to bank. Upwork to BPI, or BDO, or Eon. Yun lang yung mga na-try ko. Pero yung ibang, alam ko meron din ibang banks na pwede siya direct sa Upwork. You can just search that on the internet kung wala doon sa na-mention ko yung bank nyo. That's that for Upwork. If you have any questions with regards to Upwork, i-comment nyo lang siya sa baba para sa next video ko, gagawa tayo ng cover letter, ma-include ko siya or ma-answer ko siya. Okay, for our next platform, it's onlinejobs.ph. So basically, this is just the same with Upwork na kailangan mong mag-sign up kung wala ka pang account. Just click the sign up button here at the top. I-click mo tong tab na to, I want to work. This is for employers. And dito yung mga nakahanap ng trabaho. You will just have to fill out this form. Full name, your um, email address, password, and then click mo lang to lahat. Checkbox. May sasagutan ka din na answer to make sure na hindi bot yung gumagawa ng account. Now, once naka-register ka na, you have to complete your profile and then pwede ka na mag-apply ng jobs. So, hindi ko na to siya i-fill upan kasi meron na akong account. So, I will just log in my account here. Okay, so I'm already logged in now and before ka mag-apply, make sure na 100% na yung profile mo. Ito yung mga frequently asked questions. How do I get paid? Dito mo makikita. Pwede silang via EasyPay, Payoneer, PayPal, Western Union, and so when do I get paid? Dito, two weeks daw or once a month. It depends kung ano yung agreement niya sa client. And then, uh, andito pa yung ibang questions, mostly ask questions na pwede yung makita. And then, meron din silang early and my tracker sila na ginagamit. This is what they call um, time proof. Sa Upwork kasi it's time tracker. You can fr um, download this one for free. Kung mag early ka, pwede mo siyang gamitin. Even OFWs can, can still make an account here. Pwede sila na maggawa ng account. Pero given na yung sahod nila is Philippine Peso pa rin. And then, yes, ang kahibahan nila sa Upwork. Kasi kung dito ka mag apply yung kakompetensya mo, mga Pinoy din. Sa Upwork, hindi ganun. Bale, international kasi yung Upwork. And buong bansa din yung kakompetensya mo kung mag apply ka dun ng online jobs. So, this is also good. And if you want to check out what are the services na mga ino-offer nila, na pwede mong i-offer sa clients, so, ganito yung time proof, e-time proof. Katulad din siya ng Upwork. Pag i-click mo yung job board, dito mo makikita yung mga latest job post nila at yung mga ibang services na pwede mong i-offer sa clients mo. Pwede ka dito mag-type if you are looking for virtual assistants or mga social media management na work. Ito yung mga latest job post na pwede mong apply yan. Ito yung mga particular work na available Office admin, English, writing, marketing and sales, meron din WordPress, social media, web development, project management, and marami pa. Let's, let's click this one, view more job posts. 
If you're going to click this view more job post here, sa bottom na part, mapupunta kayo dito, where pwede na kayong mag-search kung ano yung mga available na mga jobs na pwede nyo pag-applyan. So here, makikita mo, pwede siya for freelance, pwede siya for part-time, pwede siya for full-time. Naka-indicate yun siya dito sa gilid kung full-time ba yung hinahanap ng isang client or part-time or freelance or any. Titingin tayo ng mga virtual assistants. So this one... Nung type ka lang dito ng virtual assistant or kung gusto mo ng data entry, let's try data entry for beginners. So, for here, merong data entry for $2 per hour. So, nakikita mo dito sa baba yung rate. And then, meron ding data entry na 70 pesos per hour. Meron ding fixed rate. $320 to $480, depende sa experience. So, let's check this one, email that data entry. So, since this is per hour, kailangan mong gumamit ng tracker nila, which is the time proof. So, here, nakalagay dito yung mga qualifications na gusto nila. Kailangan, good, good English, tapos, okay yung computer, may internet speed na minimum of 5 Mbps. My knowledge sa Excel Word and Outlook. And then, knowledge about information technology and software engineering is a plus, but not required, so it's okay. So, yung work time is 7 p.m. to 3 a.m. So, therefore, this is a graveyard shift, Monday to Friday, 40 hours per week. You'll get work from home every day, pay training, pay out every other Friday. Possibly, yearly bonus based on performance. Birthday off. I-add nyo lang daw si Live Ray Recruiting for this position. So, message nyo lang siya. Copy nyo tong Skype ID niya sa Skype nyo. And maybe you can chat from there if you have any further questions. And kung mag apply ka, you can just click this job. Apply for this job. Ito yung makikita mo. Fill out mo lang to, yung subject. Kung ano yung subject sa letter mo. Maybe email data entry applicant. And then, yung cover letter mo, ilagay mo dito. And then, yung email address, Skype ID, or Zoom personal ID meeting, pwede mo ilagay here. Then, you can also include a portfolio. Kung meron ka ng the same na project na ginawa, pwede mong ilagay dito yung link. Madali lang siya. Yun yung pinaka maganda kasi yung kakompetensya mo, mga Pinoy lang din. And for our third platform, that is Facebook Groups. Yes, tama kayo. Facebook groups. Nakakakuha kayo ng work sa Facebook groups. Especially yung mga malalaking groups na for online freelancers. Kagaya nito, Filipino Online Freelancers. So, dito pa lang sa post niya, nakikita mo may hiring na sila. Meron din kayo makikita ng mga trainings dito. Meron ding mga success stories. Ito, hiring for inbound and outbound sales agent. So, dito, sinabihan niya lang PM is the key, but sometimes, meron silang pinaprovide na email na doon ka mag sisan ng CV mo. We are looking for virtual assistance for real estate. So, ito yung budget for part-time, for full-time. Diba? Okay na yung rate. Then, if you are interested, please complete this preliminary applications. So, ito lang yung mga required niya. One-year real estate, communication skills, excellent dapat, another hiring na naman, Facebook ads assistant. Just make sure na marunong kang mag-follow na instructions nila. So, dito may application form din siyang pinapafilapan kung gusto mong mag-apply. And guys, merong rules each Facebook groups. So, dapat wag nyo siyang i-violate para hindi kayo makik out na group. And then, basta marami kayong matutunan dito. May mga free trainings. Yun, sumali kayo nun para mas madali yung progress nyo when it comes to the skills. Ito, female telemarketers. Maraming hiring to Mga job opportunities. So, ito yung form kanina. Pila pa nyo lang to. Pag isubmit niya to, meaning, ta-apply na kayo. She's looking for a social media manager. Ito, we're looking for amazing, beautiful, committed, and minimalistic people. <laughs> oh, wow. Diba? New graphic designer. And then, let's go for another. We are hiring. Production planner. Ang daming hiring, diba? Ito yung salary, working hours, yung mga requirements nila, requirements sa applicants, ito yung form na gusto pa filapan. Another hiring for appointment setters. 
starting full time, part time. Actually, I have a full list of mga Facebook groups na maraming nagano. Yah, ilalagay ko din siya sa online documents natin para ma-access niyo. Another hiring here, trainings, looking for web developers. The more na mas bago pa siya pinost, most likely yan yung wala pang siguro ng nakuha na tao. Pero kung siguro matagal na napost, probably may nakuha na yan. Pwede din kayong magtanong dito if may mga task kayo na, na hindi nyo alam. Pero I would recommend na isearch nyo muna sa Google or sa YouTube. And then pag wala talaga kayong makuha ng information about sa tanong nyo, tsaka na kayo magpo-post sa mga Facebook groups. Just make sure ha, na pag nag-a-apply ka, don't grab a project na very low yung rate. And wag din yung mga too good to be true, baka mas kam lang kayo. Be very careful sa pag apply Example, this one, Upwork Philippines, meron siyang mga popular topics. Pwede siyang i-click. Since our purpose here is to look for jobs na pwede natin pag-applyan, kunin ko to, Upwork job post. Ito yung mga looking for telesales person. Meron din mga success stories. Always ako pumupunta dito pag nawawala na kung gano'ng mag-work. Tinitignan ko yung mga success stories nila from zero to hero. Yes. Kaya, nakapagbili na ng car. Maganda na yung setup. So, this one, I think, online Filipino freelancers. Ito yung pinakamalaki na Facebook groups for online freelancers dito sa Philippines. So, yeah, that's for my third platform. So, for the fourth platform that I'm going to share with you, this is LinkedIn. LinkedIn is basically... Uh, professional social media sites so this will also serve your online resume too so pwede kayong maghanap dito ng mga jobs and then pwede din kayong makapag-post ng jobs pwede kayong makipag-connect sa mga the same people na the same niche yung trabaho just click join now i-fill out nyo lang siya tapos i-confirm nyo siya sa email nyo and then make sure na complete yung profile nyo the same with the other platforms, um, yung sinabi ko sa Upwork and online jobs, na kung pwede, complete talaga yung profile para kung sino man yung mga prospect clients na titingin sa profile nyo, mas marami silang malalaman. So, this one, this is my current account. And dito, nakikita ko yung mga uh, connected sa akin. First connection. Ito yung mga first connection ko. And yung mga pinapollow ko na page sa LinkedIn. Basically, um, to be honest, hindi ko pa na-try mag-apply dito. Pero, i-recommend ko siya kasi yung mga prospect clients na mismo yung nagma-message sa akin na pwede ba akong makapag-work sa company nila. Sila na yung nagda-direct message sa akin. So, ayaw niyo ba nun na sila na yung naghahanap sa'yo na pwede ka bang makapag-work sa kanila? Iba mas okay yon And that's why I recommend this one. Yung ilagay niyo na profile picture is professional. And yung ilagay niyo dito na title. So, this title will serve us kung ano yung work niyo currently. If you are a virtual assistant, ilagay niyo dito. And kung ano yung work na gusto niyo na i-hire kayo ng clients niyo. So, prospect clients niyo. You can also put your contact infos dito. Click niyo lang to siya. And a quick summary about you and yung mga skills mo yung mga experience mo sa work mo, ilagay niyo din, especially yung mga responsibilities mo na ginagawa mo sa clients mo before. And also, uh, education, yung mga skills, ito. So, you can just click the jobs here. And since we are not going to work somewhere, let's just put a remote. Yung gusto natin, like virtual assistant. Okay, so for virtual assistant, meron tayong remote virtual caller. If gusto ka mag-apply nito, click mo lang yung dito nakikita yung information, mga job description, job summary, the yung responsibilities, the yung work experience na kailangan, competencies, yung skills mo na kailangan. If you really love this one and you want to apply, just click easy apply. I-fill upan mo lang siya. Upload mo yung resume mo. Pero kung wala ka ng resume, you can just submit the PDF version of your LinkedIn profile. Which you are going just to click here and automatic na siya. So, ito yung uh, preview sa akin. And ito na yung automatic na masisend sa client. So, di ba? Very easy lang when it comes to LinkedIn kung paano mag-apply. Kasi automatic na naman generate ng CV mo. Social media manager. Marang dung marang social media ma manager dito na work.
Again, if you want to have an alert for this kind of job goals, pwede niyo siyang i-turn on. Kung gusto niyo every time na may mag-post about social media manager na job post, click niyo lang yung turn on. And kung ano yung always daily ba or weekly, yan, ganun lang. Ganun lang ka-easy ang um, mag-apply dito sa LinkedIn. But make sure that your profile is already good para kung mag-apply man kayo, makikita nila lahat ng details na gusto nilang malaman from you. I would also recommend na kung meron kayong previous work na ask your boss na mag-recommend sa'yo doon dito sa LinkedIn profile mo kasi makikita din nila na may nag-recommend sa'yo for a specific job. So, for the fifth platform that I'm going to share with you is this, Connected Women. So, makikita nyo, um, ito siya ay para sa entrepreneurs and for those women who wants to become a virtual assistant or already a virtual assistant and looking for online projects. So, if gusto mong maging part nito, just click sign up here. And then, if you are also an entrepreneur, you are looking for a virtual assistant to help you with your business, pwede ka ding mag-sign up dito. Click, just click sign up here at the top. The same din siya sa mga previous platforms na diniscuss ko. Kailangan siya ng account. So, fill up mo lang siya. Ang kagandahan nito, pwede ka mag-apply dito. Click mo lang siya na feature jobs. Dito ka pwede mag-a-apply. So, dito may mga feature jobs siya. This one from Manila. Pwede remote siya na tabahuin. So, pwede kang mag-apply dito. Make sure na... 100% din yung profile mo dito. And then, pwede ka din find an online job here. Sa experience ko nito, sa totoo lang, hindi pa ako naka-apply dito sa Connected Women. Ang kagandahan lang na na-experience ko, the same siya sa LinkedIn, na yung admin na ng Connected Women, yung nagko-contact sa akin through Skype, si Ms. Tara. May na-message na lang ako sa Skype. Na-ask niya ako if I'm still available for a new project kasi meron daw opportunity na nagmamatch sa skill sets ko. So, pag nagustuhan ko yung job proposal, I mean yung job description and job growth, si Ms. Tara na din yung naggumagawa ng schedules na mag-meet kami ng dalawang clients. Direct kami nag-uusap ng client and then, sa pagkakaalam ko, direct din yung sahod. It depends sa anong napag-agree hanyas ng client mo. Maraming mga success stories and marami ding mga successful BAs na dito nakakakuha ng jobs. Ito yung mga frequently asked questions. You might also want to join their Facebook page kasi marami doong new opportunities din. Ito yung mas gusto ko eh. Client mismo yung maghahanap sa'yo. Hindi yung mismo ikaw pa yung maghahanap sa kanila. That's why I recommended LinkedIn and Connected Women kasi nakakatulong sila na hindi ka masyadong ma-worry na wala ka pang nakitang work kasi from time to time, kumukontak sila if you are available for a new project. That's the five magic platforms that would help beginners or an aspiring freelancers to learn project online. Again, if you want to have an access on the online document that has a full list of websites na pwede ka makapag-apply ng online jobs, just click the link below. For the next video, I'll be talking about how much you can earn as a virtual assistant or someone who works from home. Is it sustainable or not? But while waiting for that, check out these two videos at the side. It's also about work from home stocks. Hope you guys learned a thing or two on this video. See you in the next one. Bye!